start by defining what kind of calculator you want to build. Uh, it will be based on two main factors, um, your business goals, and also what kind of data is already available to you. Um, and next, uh, you should create a file uh, like this one. So here it is a very simple calculator and it is like really um, a random example. But you need to decide what inputs uh, your user uh, is going to need to, to, to input. So here uh, we decided that we wanted the user to input the number of customers uh, they get in a year and the monthly sales price per customer. So the user will need to input this. And you need also to decide and to put, uh, to put in your file uh, the data you are going to input. So it should be like a serious data you have uh, thanks to your business. For example, here, let's say we know the average growth uh, customers have after one year of using our service. Let's say it is 3.5. And next, when you have gathered all this, you need to decide the formula you are going to use uh, in your calculator. Uh, so here, basically, uh, the formula we are going to use will be the revenue generated in year two thanks uh, to the growth uh, allowed by our service minus uh, the revenue generated in year one thanks to the inputs. And the difference is going to be the result we want in the calculator. So don't, um, don't really mind this example. Uh, the thing you just need to know is uh, decide the user inputs, uh, decide what kind of data you are going to put in your calculator and uh, decide on the formula. If you don't know what formula to use, there are many, many websites um, that you can find that will help you to, to create a formula uh, suited to your business goals. So once uh, you have all this, you can start to build your calculator in Bubble. For this example, I'm not going to build everything with you because it would be too long. Um, but I'm going to explain uh, each element and I'll give you, like in the text down below, I will give you the access to this app so you can see everything and uh, like um, get inspired by everything. So here uh, it is a simple uh, group and uh, for the size I chose 320 and for, and for the minimum width I chose 1990. So it will um, allow your calculator to be embedded in any website very very, uh, in a very simple way and it will be responsive very easily. And next, like uh, the rest here, there are only like uh, simple uh, texts. So there are, oh, sorry, there are like really simple uh, text here, uh, here also, and here, we have uh, inputs. So uh, I just chose uh, here inputs and um, I chose uh, text as a content format. So as you can see here, it is a simple um, inputs. The placeholder, I chose the, na the name customers. For the content format, I chose integer because uh, the number of customers is uh, an integer. Um, and uh, yeah, you can really style them as you like. Here I chose uh, for style, I chose to put, uh, to define each border independently and to have a solid border at the bottom to have this effect. And for the price input, uh, I chose uh, to have a decimal content format. Um, so yeah, uh, here it is also a simple text. And next, so this is pretty a simple, uh, quite simple design. Uh, what you need to know now is how to calculate, um, uh, to calculate your, like your results. Um, there is an element missing. Okay, here you see it was hidden. So there is one last, um, one last text here. Uh, but I'll tell you about, uh, about it later.
In order to make uh, the calculation, you need to install first the, the Toolbox plugin. So go in the plugin tab and click on Add plugins and look for the Toolbox plugin. So I've already installed it. Um, this plugin is free and there is nothing to do. Once it's installed, uh, you can use it. Uh, so here we are going to use the expression uh, element in toolbox. So go back to your design and look for the expression visual element. So you can see it here. Uh, click on expression and uh, draw it in your calculator. So here I've already um, created it, but I want to show you uh, how you should, uh, what you should do in order uh, to make it work. Now that you have added uh, the expression uh, element, which is the toolbox plugin, let's see what you need to do in its property editor. So you need to add an expression here and it will be uh, the calculation. And here you need to choose a result type. Uh, here we want to calculate something. So the result type is going to be a number. And for the expression, so as we saw um, before, um, here we want the formula to be the revenue generated in year two minus the revenue generated in year one. So um, I wrote uh, down below what you need to include. So this uh, here is just a text for you to understand better my example. So we want uh, here to show the revenue increase after one year. So it's going to be um, the growth. So this figure will be just hard coded. And um, so 1.035, it's because here we said in our example that the average growth is going to be 3.5. And we multiply it by the number of customers multiply it by the price and multiply it by 12 because here it is monthly so we want a yearly uh, revenue so yeah minus the number of customers uh, multiplied by the price multiplied by 12. So basically we just need to enter this uh, formula here. Uh, so Let's put a parenthesis and then uh, the 1.035 is not going to be uh, dynamic. So yeah, to multiply, so multiply symbol. And next we need to input the month, the customer's input. So insert dynamic data, input customer's value, uh, then uh, do not click on more, like we want to add another multiplied symbol, so cl just click next to more and enter the symbol. Uh, next, dynamic data, and it is the input price value. Great. Again, click next to it, multiply by 12. Close the parenthesis, minus, open the parenthesis. Again, dynamic data, input customer's value multiply by input price value multiply by 12. Okay, so um, when once you have uh, chosen, like uh, written your expression and chosen a result type, you need to say where this thing is going to be displayed because this element won't show up on your calculator, you need to display it somewhere. So here I already created a text box, so it is really like just a, run, a regular text visual element. And here you can just, so if you want to have the dollar sign before, you need to write it. And next you'll say, in some dynamic data, you want the expression test value to appear, because here this thing is called expression test. Um, you can choose how it's going to be formatted. So if you want to choose how it's going to be formatted, you need to click, sorry, you need to click on the more button. So you can say, for example, I want uh, this thing to be a number and to have 
uh, zero decimal, for example, and I want the thousand separator to be a dot. Close. So um, now it should be good. So let's delete this expression and let's uh, preview our app. Okay, let's see if it worked. Uh, great, it works perfectly. Uh, one thing I forgot to tell you uh, is that uh, for this text box, uh, you should add a condition saying that when uh, input customer's value is not empty and input price value is not empty, that the element is visible. And make sure that in appearance, um, the element is not visible on page load because um, you only want this to appear when the user has inputted everything. 